Welcome to another edition of Whiskey, Games, and Nerd Stuff. Today's whiskey is High West Bourbon, and I'm going to take a minute to read the back of the label. Hopefully I can do this without my glasses. High West Bourbon. Meet America's West's most innovative and inviting bourbon, a blend of straight bourbon whiskeys aged a minimum of two years in charmed white American oak barrels, never chill filtered or carbon treated, and utilizing a variety of high rye content mash bills to convey an earthly complexity with a bit of spice. The perfect marriage of richness and brightness expressed by notes of honey nougat, sweet cornbread biscuits, and lemon zest with caramel apples and pecan pie lingering on the finish. Whether sipped or stirred, this bourbon is blended to be your tried and true. This bourbon is actually made in Utah, Park City, Utah. And so far, everything that's been high west, I have really liked. I have yet to have a high whiskey that I have not liked. Um, so let's go ahead and give this a try. As I have said in other videos, I am not the best when it comes to describing the nose, the palate, and, and all that. Um, I typically like to say if I like something, I like something. And, you know, sometimes I just can't explain why I like it. Um, sometimes you can, sometimes you can't. So let's go ahead and take a look and see what I can tell. Well, in the initial nose, I'm getting a hint of flour and a hint of lemon. I'm not sure if it's coming across with my lighting, but this is much lighter in the glass than it looks in the bottle. Yeah, I get a flower, lemon, and maybe a hint of grass. Let's go ahead and take a sip. Okay, I do get a slight hint of spice. Definitely not a bite. I do taste a teeny bit of vanilla. It wasn't there wasn't any it didn't say vanilla on the bottle, but I feel like I get a little bit of the vanilla. This is a good bourbon though. Um, I can definitely see sipping this one while I'm playing poker with friends, D and D, magic, or just kind of chilling and watching a game. Not sure that water would open this up much. Um, I'll have to give it a try, um, but I do really like this. Yeah, I can definitely see myself sipping on this one um, for a while. Hmm. Yeah, I like that one. So this is High West Bourbon. I believe I've seen this between about $35 and $40 a barrel. Um, I happened to get a gift from the holidays that had this and another bottle of High West with it with two glasses. And I believe the individual told me that it cost them about 70 bucks. So I thought that was an awesome gift. Um, you can't go wrong with two bottles. High West is so great. Um, I always try to pick it up when I can. Um, I've really, really enjoyed it. There's been a lot of those. In fact, if you watch the channel, you'll see a lot of different var variations of High West um bourbons and whiskeys um this one i really like again um let me go ahead and show this bottle a little bit closer and the back and if i recall correctly um park city they do have the the distillery is up in park city and i believe you can actually go there on a tour so I know the next time I'm back in Utah, I'm going to try and make my way up there. So um, if anybody has had the opportunity to go up there, um, please feel free to leave a comment in the comment section. I'd really like to know how it was up there, how you liked it. Was it worth, was it worth uh, going up there, um, especially if you were in the area? And on that note, um, especially here in, in the U.S., I would love to hear any great um, places as far as uh, particular cities or states that if you happen to be visit, visiting, where would be the distillers you'd go to? Where are um, those places that you would love if you have an extra four or five hours to kill and just kind of visit? Um, but I wanted to do a quick video on this on the High West Bourbon. 
If you like the content, please feel free to like, subscribe, all that fun stuff. Do appreciate everybody taking the time to watch this video. And until next time, cheers.